What is up everybody, it's your buddy Cruiser Moto, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install these front turn signals from TSD Industries. What's up everybody, we're back. So what we're doing today is obviously like I said, we're putting on these TST. These is what they look like, okay? They're super nice. I watched a video on them from TST and uh, yeah, I, I liked them. Uh, they're hyper white. Is what I have so they'll be cool but we're gonna get rid of these ugly bad boys right here and we're gonna show you how to do it okay stay tuned all right welcome back everybody so the tools you're gonna need for this is your allen key and a flathead that's about it really so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start removing this by you need to remove this panel here so you're gonna get your allen key you're gonna go for it you know get these off keep track of where your bolts and stuff go I always like to make sure I do so, okay, there's one down there and one right here. Okay, so make sure you get both those off. Get that off there. All right, and now this, you have to pull out and push forward for it to come off, okay? Don't mess it up. And then me, like I said, I like to keep track, so I'm gonna put these back here, and I'm gonna set this on the ground. All right, your next piece is gonna be the top shroud right here. All right, everybody, your next piece is gonna be this top shroud right here. There's two pins right here that you just gotta pop out, but then you gotta loosen it up from right here too, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And then this is where your flathead comes in to pop these pins right in here. Let me see, turn this handlebar so it's a little easier to get in here. And it's the two closest pins to you up here. You wanna get those out. I always pop them back, get them ready, and then it's one more right here, I believe. Just this bottom one. There's three down, three in here, but you're only doing the top one and the very bottom one, okay? Because it's only this piece that's coming off. The other one holds on the other piece that's on the inside. So, your two pins, and then this piece, I'll show you how this comes off. You gotta pop it, because it has one of those... Them pieces where it wants to come on because I'm pretty sure you don't have to take off these other two bolts here oh no no I take that back it has that thing in here you got to pop it off it's got the grommet in here that's what it is it's got the grommet these hold on your vent so once you get that off it exposes your return signal which I'll change the angle so you guys can see that okay all right everybody here we go and I just want to take something back I lied there wasn't just two tools you need three you're going to need a uh, 10 millimeter socket too to remove these two bolts down here where the blinker is to get that off too. But what we're doing right now is that now we have exposed where the turn signal is, okay? So you're going to unplug it. hate these things. Arr, come on. I hate these things, man. They're always extra special. Okay, so you're going to plug it from there. You're going to route it back through. Uh, actually, I take that back. It comes from up here. And you route, you pull the cord that's from... Actually, no, I'm, I'm right. Never mind. Okay. Uh, undo it from this little clip here that it's stuck in. There you go. And it comes back up behind here. You're going to pull it out from there. You got another little clip here that uh, is holding on to it. See how you get this one off. I don't want to break it. Um, oh, this one looks like it pops out. Nope. How do we get this one off? Oh, you know what? This flathead screwdriver time. Watch this. This is how we get that off. Come on. Pop off there. Arr. Man, that's hard to get off there. You know what? I'm gonna take this whole thing off first and then we'll do that. All right, everybody, here we go. So we got the cable off, right? We unplugged it. So now we got this pin that's in here. This thing's a little biatch, but uh, 
I've already worked with it so it's easy to pull out, but I pulled it out. You gotta get this little pin off that's back there to release this from off here, okay? Now the next thing you need to do is you need to remove these two bolts on here. I've already loosened them up a little bit. Then my battery died in the middle of doing this, so it's kind of like, ah, you know? But so we're gonna take those out. And then it takes off, this whole assembly comes off for the light, okay? Boom, done, it's off, okay? Now what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna change the camera angle again so that you guys can get a view of me removing this out and putting the new light and all that fun stuff on, okay? Here we go. All right, so here we go, everybody. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off the old mirror on here, okay? It's got these little tabs in here. Pop them up with your flathead. It'll help release it out of there. Come on, pull the little rubber piece back, it should pop right out, okay? So once you get that out, I'm gonna pull this all the way off. Get that off there, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, because this is rubber, you can squeeze this, pull it right on out, okay? And now, that's the OEM one, all done. Bye-bye, okay? I'm gonna set that down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new light, we're gonna put it in here, okay? And it only fits one way, because that's how they designed them. All right, so get it in there. Oops, make sure you get all your cords out the way. So get it in there. So it looks like I need to put on the, the rubber gasket on here. So I'm hoping this stretches onto here. I'm trying to figure out where this goes, because it didn't come with instructions in the, in the box for these things. So I'm not sure where this O-ring goes. But I'm going to assume it needs to go on this light somewhere. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this back out real quick. We're going to put that seal on there. But I don't think it goes on the outside. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to go on the inside of it, possibly. But you know, we'll see what it looks like on the outside. See what's up with this thing. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to put this on there. Because it came with it. So I'm assuming it goes on this thing. You know? You would assume, right? So, yeah. It goes right on here. So this is the seal. It needs to go on here. That fit perfectly on there. So, we're cool. So again, we're going to put this all through here. Like so. Remember, it only fits the one way. In here. God dang it. That stupid wire keeps getting stuck right there. Okay. So look. So we got it on here. That's probably, yeah. That's probably a much better what's supposed to be done. It could be more flush, but I'm gonna have these on here just cause uh, it looks like it's supposed to be there. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the back on here, right? And this, you're not gonna use this OEM piece no more. It's just this, okay? So you're gonna get on here. All right. And we're going to take it. We're gonna put it on. Okay, but you need to push this down as far as you can with your flathead. It needs to be all the way down so it's super tight. And all it's, it's clamping down on it based how they designed it, okay? So make sure you get all the way around so this thing is tight. Um, I won't make no comments about that, but just make sure it's nice and tight on there, okay? Literally, push it down as far as this thing will click. As much as you can get it. Ah. Sorry, I try to keep this in view. <laughs> Much as you can get it clicked down to where it's gonna hold on there. So it has a tiny little bit of wiggle, but no big deal. Now, it comes with the other adapter here. You're gonna need one of these each for each one of these, okay? So with this, you're gonna take one of them, okay? This is gonna plug into this cord here. It's the only one it's gonna fit on, okay? So you're gonna get that on here. Come on. All right, get that plugged in and then this, it's going to plug in on the top and now you're going to make sure because now it has a slot here for the wire okay so you're going to make sure the wire goes in here okay and you're going to put this down on here and it's going to click right in all the wires go right into it okay ah, so let's get this in here and this just makes it all nice and tidy for you you know so it's cool all right so there we go we got it in there push it down and it'll hold everything in place, okay? So now you can go back and now you can reinstall this and plug it back into the original and this thing will work. 
So we're going to move back down to the to the light area where it was and we're going to put this all back together now and watch it work. All right, so here we go everybody. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get this bad boy back installed on here. So we're going to get the screws, put them back on. Okay. Finger tight right now. I'll tighten everything up here in a minute. All right. Like I said, I think I'm gonna to have to do this again for the next install video, guaranteed. Watch, it's gonna be kind of annoying. I probably should have done both of them at the same time, but I ain't trying to do that. Gotta do multiple videos, you know what I'm saying? So we got it on here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna route this back up into the little clamp here that it likes where it wants to keep everything stuck there. I got it all routed back up. It's perfect right up behind these cords right here. I routed it and then just plugged in and it's clipped back onto its original clip, okay? So now all you gotta do is just go back, replace your fairings and your pins back in and you're good to go and we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? And then we'll check out the, the blinker. All right, everybody, that's it. And uh, that's how you install that on that side of the bike. Now it's a little different on the other side um, just because where the wiring is for the headlight, but it's not much of a difference. It's just a little higher up into the tank is all, but uh, we'll go ahead and show you what the lights look like. All right, here we are people. So it's basically the exact same thing on taking it off on this side as it was the other. So I'm just gonna freaking cruise on through this thing um, and get it off there, okay? It's never too late to change your love So don't let them steal your life Don't let them break your stride All right, so now here is the difference between the other side and this side. So here you got the cluster, it's up in here. So what you need to do is you need to move off this rubber thing. You need to reach up in here and you need to pop out the light from in here. And then, see this is the difficult part here. Get it out, unplug it. Okay, now it's unplugged and we're gonna get it out from behind all of this in here. Ugh. It's, this is gonna be annoying. So it's got one of these other little clamp, clamps. It's not like the other one. This one actually spread apart. And this one will actually come off off here. So it's just got one of these clamps on there. Super easy. Don't lose that boy because you're gonna reuse it. Okay. Uh, now the fun part of getting this wire out from behind here where we unplugged it from. Okay. This is the fun part. So we get it out of the little harness here. Let's pull this out. I'm gonna push it back through here because it's got another one of these weird little clamps in here that it's sitting in. Uh, which, uh, I understand why. I'm gonna get my screwdriver in there and pop it out uh, so it's easier to get. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so that's out of there. Now we can start pulling it through. Once it's out of there, there we go. All right, start pulling the bad boy through. Get it out of there, bam. Ah, man. <laughs> now, like I said, you're just gonna take off the light. You're gonna do the same thing as before, putting the new light in, and then we'll get back to how we're gonna rewire uh, it into there, okay? Okay, everybody, so here we go. Got it all back on here. Getting ready to put the clamp back on where it needs to go to hold this bad boy in place, okay? Let's see how am I gonna where am I gonna put it at? I'll put it up above this right here. So that way it's easy to get on and off. I might have to just use one of my own zip ties actually. Yeah. 
This thing freaking is a bust, man. It doesn't even freaking hold on. It's crap. Get rid of it. Put your own zip tie on there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I did my own zip tie on there because that just, the other stuff is just not working for me. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta get in here, get this bad boy out again, plug in, we did last time. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pop this in to where it's supposed to go, all right? Up here in its little home. That's where I want it to be. Or anything, sorry if I'm completely blocking the camera. There we go. Got it in there, and now I'm just gonna let it be routed just like that. You know, it's, I'll put it back down right here, and there like that. Let this thing go right here. But that's about as far as it's gonna go. I'm just gonna tuck it in like that, and it's gonna be all right. Then you just put your panels all back on everybody, and then that is exactly how you install these uh, TST turn signals on uh, your MT-09, okay? Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Love, peace, and chicken grease.